Hi, this would be my report for the customer churn analysis for the telco company. Customer churn is the rate or percentage of an organization's customers that stop using its product or service offerings during a specific time frame. A customer churn analysis provides detailed insights on the different factors that affect an organization's churn rate. It is more than merely calculating the overall churn of the customers, but you also need to acquire insights regarding the churn for different categories, such as demographics, products or services availed, and other pertinent information that is present in our data. It is important to know and understand customer churn, especially for organizations, as it significantly affects not only profit and revenue, but also long-term growth. We need to understand that customer acquisition will be more expensive than customer retention, as it will take time and money to persuade the prospects to switch or transfer to the organization. And failed acquisition may contribute to further losses. Besides this, the organization can better plan its allocation for resources and improvements based on the picture and drawn conclusion of their customers' needs and churn evaluation. The organization can have a better view of its performance in terms of its offerings and they can take necessary actions regarding this. And if the churn rate is high, then it could indicate a problem as regards the organization, its products, or its customers. Especially in the telco industry, this would be relevant because it is easy to switch from one company to another and subscription fees play an important factor to their overall revenue. In this data, the important indicators for churn analysis include customer demographic, the customer's payment method, payment mode, contract, and tenure. It is also important to look at their service subscriptions and monthly charges by the number of churn customers. Moving on to the analysis, we are first going to look at the ratio of churn customers by the total number of customers. There is a 26.54% churn rate for this period, which is actually high as we would like to keep the churn rate to a minimum which is, according to ProfitWell, only around 2 to 8%. As we can see on the pie chart, a large area occupied the churn customers, making the active ones only at around 70%. By looking at our demographics, we can see that most of the organization's customers are not yet senior citizens. But almost half of those in the senior citizen category churn for the period in contrast to the younger ones who remain to be active. Around 50% of the customers have a partner, but churning is more prevalent for those who do not have one. Lastly, there are more customers who do not have dependents, but a big percentage of that category also churn for this period. A good payment acceptance flow is also a factor for customer churn. Although sometimes ignored, it is still a part of the overall customer experience. For the payment methods and payment mode, churn customers are greater for those who use a manual payment mode. Electronic check is a part of this manual payment mode. And this method should be evaluated to understand what causes the customer to churn, which may be improved later on. As for the contract and tenure, we can see that customers who commit for a longer period tend to remain active as compared to those who pay month by month. In relation to this, the line chart also shows that there is a high number of churn, especially for the customers during their first month, and retention increases the longer the tenure. With this, the organization has to understand what drives the customers to churn during their first months and make actions that will motivate the customers to stay.
VIP customers are those who have a monthly charge of $69.5 and above. And we can see a greater number of VIP customers churn when compared to non-VIPs. Perhaps the VIPs cannot see the value of being such a member of the VIP category or the benefits may not be much although they spend more than the regular customers. By looking at the histogram, we can see that the large number of churned customers start in the range of the VIP monthly charge and onwards. The organization probably has to reevaluate the advantages of being a VIP customer versus a regular one. Meanwhile, the most number of churn customers came from those who avail three to four total services. And according to this line chart, three to four total services lie between 67 to $77 on average. Again, this encapsulates many of the VIP customers. Lastly, for the services, the different internet services have similar column charts in terms of the churn and non-churn data. But going to the internet service as a general one, we can see that customers availing the fiber optic offering have the most number of churn. In this sense, the organization should see what issues in the fiber optic option drive customers to churn. Is it the instability, the slow customer service, or are there other stuff relevant to fiber that affects it? And on phone service and multiple lines, we can see a number of churn customers, but the ratio is not quite significant for us to conclude how these affect the churn numbers in its totality.